Ethereum merge coming up. What's the merge for the uninitiated? The merge is going to be the time when the execution layer is merged with the beacon layer, or the consent, the yeah, the consensus layer on the for the beacon chain, into of course basically at the end of the day making Ethereum proof of stake instead of proof of work. Now this is important because there is a ton of capital and ton of miners behind essentially Ethereum as it sits right now, as basically the largest altcoin being mineable, and that is second to Bitcoin, of course. And the big key here is that a lot of people are also utilizing GPUs to do this. So here's the other thing. Mining, the way it works, right, is that there are different algorithms. So in a lot of cases, for the most part, people that are mining Ethereum are not going to be able to shift over to mining Bitcoin. Now, if they are GPU miners, they'll be able to shift over to some other algorithms because GPU support multiple algorithms and there will be profitable ones. But if it's an ASIC mineable coin or an ASIC miner from Ethereum, then you're going to have more problems kind of shifting over. So this means that there will be a lot of money that gets kind of dumped out of the system, potentially. And so now we have this idea of essentially a another fork for ethereum and we're going to talk about it a little bit but my thoughts in general at the end of the day is we already had one fork we already have ethereum classic and you could just move to ethereum classic in my humble opinion that would be the most you know practical move for a lot of these large companies and then the developers and everything can move to wherever the security is. But that doesn't seem to be exactly what's going on in the grander scheme of things. There's been talk of ETHW or ETH proof of work, which would essentially be a yet another fork and of Ethereum that would essentially happen probably right around the merge. And then you would have basically a split chain once again, and we would have three Ethereums now instead of just two at the end of the day. The benefits for this, of course, could be that you would have current development ready to go. Uh, all of the updates on Ethereum exactly as it sits would be ready to be on a proof of work chain. But the downsides are numerous, right? Like the thing is, is like most developers are going to maintain, be maintained on maintaining their projects on the primary chain of Ethereum, which means you would just end up with a bunch of dead projects on proof of work unless of course you know something really bad happened to proof of stake and eth went down then of course maybe people would move over to proof of work but for the most part nothing would be maintained on ethereum post merge uh, for the proof of work version of the chain so i don't see this actually working out it doesn't seem to matter though because what is happening is we have an exchange and i want to warn you guys on this this is one of those warning things we have an exchange that is now advertising essentially eth1 or ethw as you know a tradable asset on their exchange and this is coming from paul on the x or however you pronounce that um here's the problem i see but first of all you can see here that it's already up for sale as far as you know you can go purchase it it's pretty close to this is the staked version let's go check the other one here's the work version it's pretty close to parity it's or well is it this one's yeah so this one's at parity which is the staked version and this one's not close to parity excuse me so it's about 10 percent of the worth of eth for eth w Here's the thing, there's no public blockchain for this yet, okay? So if you're going into this exchange and you're purchasing ETHW or even ETHS, just to be clear, you run the potential of having zero ETH at the end of the day because there is no public blockchain. The fork has not occurred yet. They are pre-selling it. So if you go in here and purchase it, you're basically purchasing nothing. You're purchasing basically a line on a centralized ledger for an amount of something that doesn't exist. You're purchasing vaporware. I highly advise against it. While this is not financial advice, this is essentially don't get scammed advice. I highly, highly 
recommend against this. This is not something you want to go participate in. Is there potential for upside? Well, I suppose somebody could say that, you know, you're purchasing it at basically a 10% discount and there's a potential for you to basically 10X your investment or whatever it is. But the likelihood of that is extremely low. Even if ETH has a split, you are going to, at that point, then be able to record it on public transactions. So we go back to not your keys, not your crypto. This is a, a an exchange, a centralized exchange. If you purchase it here, there is no chain for you to send it out to. So there is no verifiable public ledger for you to actually prove that you own it. And that is very dangerous. So I want to make sure that you guys are aware of what's going on there. Now, once again, I would also say as far as all of this goes for a fork of Ethereum and one remaining proof of work, I do not think that that is the way forward. Why would we just go off on old, outdated, antiquated, you know, technology when there are new chains that could use the support that are doing much better or even if you want to stay in the past you have ethereum classic which has updated to the point to where it is focused on proof of work and its security has gotten better and better each every day and will only get better post merge because of more hash rate on the network vitalik did reply to this and he downplayed it. He said, so this is an article from Coindesk. Vitalik Buterin plays down impact of Ethereum forks after merge. Buterin said it's unlikely Ethereum will be significantly harmed by another fork. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin played down the impact of any hard forks on Ethereum after the network's merge event in September. Speaking at the developer event East Soul over the weekend, Buterin said, I don't expect Ethereum to really be significantly harmed by another fork. The blockchain plan to switch to a proof of stake mechanism, an event known as the merge next month in a move de developers say will make it cheaper, faster and environmentally friendly all of which doesn't appear to be playing out to be actually true, by the way. The change from a proof of work system will end an income stream for Ethereum miners who are rewarded with Ether tokens for their efforts. Miners produced over $620 million of worth, uh, worth of Ether in July alone, data shows. Tron founder Justin Sun has emerged as one of the most prominent investors supporting a hard fork to keep money flowing. Buterin said supporters of the proof of work consensus design shifted to Ethereum Classic when that network started in 2016 because it was known at the time that Ethereum would eventually shift to proof of stake while Ethereum Classic would not. Quote, I think Ethereum Classic already has superior community and a superior product for people, uh, people kind of those pro proof of work values and preferences, he said. Pretty much everyone in the Ethereum ecosystem is supportive of the move to proof of stake validation and quite united. I'm not sure that that is necessarily true either, but I do agree that Ethereum Classic does have, look, if, you're, if your option is Justin Sun or the current Ethereum Classic developer community, I would go with the current Ethereum Classic developer community over Justin Sun. If I'm looking at that just based off of, you know, the people uh, running it or supporting it, right? I, I, I'll make that clear. Prominent Chinese miners like Chandler Guo have proposed a hard fork. So even as Ethereum undergoes the merge and becomes validated by stakers, miners could continue to support a newly separated proof of work version of the chain. Sun committed a part of his million Ether holdings towards the development of the so-called Ethereum proof of work network. Sun's Paulo Neox exchange uh, has already listed ETHW Futures, a product that allows traders to bet on prices of the token issued to Ether holders after their Ether Ethereum proof of work network comes into existence. Futures exchange BitMEX today also listed ETHW Futures nearly a week after it published a report on how traders could take advantage of the market reaction after the issuance of tokens. Quote, I hope that whatever happens doesn't lead to people losing money, end quote, he said. A couple of outsiders basically have exchanges and mostly just want to make a quick buck, Buterin said. I agree with that. So I'm not expecting it to have a substantial long-term adoption. I hope that whatever happens doesn't lead to people losing money, he said. But obviously people will lose money 
in this particular case because unfortunately people aren't aware of how blockchain works and what you should be doing which is control your own keys and it is clear that you can't control your own keys for a futures uh, contract on ETH proof of work you can't so don't participate in it uh, once again the idea of forking ethereum to a proof of work chain sounds nice on the you know on the surface level but if we really look at it realistically it's not going to be something that would go over smoothly at all um f just from the fact that for a chain to be successful you would have to have developers running it the amount of developers on ethereum that keep the entire ecosystem running from d all the DeFi options to all the nft marketplaces etc would not move over to the new chain so you would end up with a bunch of dead tokens and a bunch of dead nfts and i don't think that that would be beneficial for the uh, you know the crypto community as a whole I think you have to build a new. This is also why I prefer something like Ergo in general over something like Ethereum Classic because Ergo is building something anew, right? They're adding new protocols. They are building their own DeFi. They are building their own NFT marketplaces, their own stable coins, their own assets. It makes more sense to push into a new project than it does to actually try to keep some sort of version of Ethereum around afterwards. This could, though, potentially cause issues with Ethereum in general with, for the merge. So you want to pay attention to what's going on with this because, you know, there is this weird slight likelihood that the merge completely breaks the Ethereum chain. And if that happens and there is a forked version and it's newer than Ethereum Classic, the same reason we talked about the, you know, basically Ethereum Classic's kind of position here it could end up being that you have the developers just move over to the latest most updated proof of work fork of the chain to continue their projects that's a very 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 slim chance but that could be a reason for at least having that available uh post merge thanks for checking out this clip from the crypto mining show you can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here also i'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a five dollar a month supporter that unlocks additional content